Hello everyone, this is AJ. Welcome to my channel. Um, the movie Owl. Yes, that's me. So anyway, so today I'm going to be doing another Steelbook unboxing. Um, this time of the 1997 movie Spawn. This is a German release. Um, I've had it for some time. It is still sealed. Um, if I want to watch the film, I've always watched it via my Amaray version just there which I believe is the US import. Um, yeah, so anyway, so before we take a look at this little beauty here, let's have a talk about the film. But before we do that, please consider subscribing, hitting that notification bell and all that. The channel is young, it's in its fledgling days. It's a baby. Um, we want to grow it, we want to nurture it. I need to know what your thoughts are, what you like, what you don't like, all this sort of stuff, so that I can give you the best content possible. Anyway, back to Spawn. So, Spawn itself um, was the brainchild of comic book creator Todd McFarlane. Um, he primarily worked for Marvel Comics. Um, he helped in the creation of characters like Venom, um, very much. Yeah, uh, he, he wrote, he, he drew Spider-Man a lot, he's drawn Hulk. Um, he's done a, a, a platitude of stuff for Marvel. Um, during the early 90s, uh, a lot of creators weren't happy with how they were treated under Marvel, but you know, so they wanted to break away and, and have control of their own ideas, their own characters. So they set up a comic book company called Image. Um, this was in 1992. Now, um, a creator called Rob Liefeld, he done, he published the first Image comic, um, which was called Young Blood. Um, and then Spawn came along as a second comic and it's still running today and going strong um, I believe it's still written by Todd McFarlane um, so Spawn was released in May of 1992 to massive sales um, yeah, it was a big big release comic you know people went wild for it um, so it stands to reason that, that the film came about um, unfortunately the film came about in a period where um, comic book movies were not great you know it's not like what we had today or what we're getting today um it was a different world so anyway so here in the uk um spawn was released on september the 19th 1997 um i do recall going to see the film at the cinema um yeah uh, it was rated 12 and it run its run time was an hour and 36 minutes um the movie starred michael j white as al simmons the lead character spawn um, John Leguizamo, famous, relatively famous actor in his own right. Um, he played the clown. He was in a big fat suit. Um, the clown was also called the Violator when he turned into his monstrous alter ego. Um, Martin Sheen, the father of Charlie, um, played Jason Wynn. They're your main players within the movie. Um, the film was directed by Mark A. Z. Depay. Now, I may have the... Um, the pronunciation on his surname wrong, apologies if I do. Um, he hasn't really directed anything else. He hasn't directed anything else. Um, but he did work in visual effects um, on films like Jurassic Park, Hunt for an October, The Abyss, you know, big, big films. Um, so I can understand that this being a, a, a CG heavy movie, they wanted someone with a, a background and understanding of visual effects. Maybe that's the way they, that's, that's their thinking anyway. So... Currently on Rotten Tomatoes, the film sits at a 17% critic score, which is poor, and a 36% audience score, which is poor. Yes, so it's not a well-loved movie. Um, the breakdown for the film goes like this. Um, an assassin named Al Simmons is double-crossed and murdered by his evil boss, Jason Wynn. Um, Martin Sheen, I was going to say Charlie. Didn't. Al makes a deal with the devil to return to Earth to see his wife. Um, um, but he returns as, pawn, as Spawn. He is ordered by the Devil's Minion, the Clown, to kill Jason Wynn. Wynn has made a deal with the Clown too, as he is supposed to destroy the world with a deadly virus that will help kickstart the Armageddon and allow Hell to attack Heaven, and Spawn must choose between good and evil. Yes, that's the basic um, plot premise to the film. Um, the box office of the film, the film's budget had a quite a meaty budget for its time for this sort of a film. Um, it had a budget of $40 million. Um, in the US, the movie made $59 million, and worldwide it went on to make $87 million. Um, so there was a pro probably a profit in there somewhere after advertising revenue and all that. Um, so yeah, um, 
in in the books, um, Al is kind of teased with his return in that when he returns to Earth, obviously he's all scarred up, isn't he? But in the comics, he was given the ability to to turn into a human, um, and but. Al's an African-American fella, um, but when he could turn into a human to see his wife, he would turn into a white guy. So there was this, like, cruel joke from the devil there somewhere. Um, I don't know how that would play in today's um, society, what people would think of that idea, but it was fine. Um, it's a shame that the film didn't touch upon this. So anyway, I'm sorry, I've been rambling on about the history of this film and that, um, but you've come here to see one thing, and that is the unboxing for this version of Spawn. So, without ado, let's get to it. So yeah, so here we have, you can see Spawn, the director's cut. Now we'll say that upon release, this was a PG-13, but later on on DVD, we did get a director's cut, which inserted back in some violence, some language, this sort of thing. So this is the director's cut. Um, I'm unsure on the length difference. It might only be about two minutes or so. But yeah, so it had a, a high age rating when it hit hit, hit DVD and that Blu-ray. Um, so anyway, so let's take a look at it. Um, so there you have the front of the box. Um, and there's the back. But let's open this baby up. Now, I will say that I believe this is out of print now. There is one for sale on eBay currently. It's not my version. Um, and it's selling for £120 um, or best offer. Now, I'm not saying it's worth that sort of money um, as a Blu-ray. I'm just saying that given that there's only one on there and one geezer selling it, he can pretty much ask for what he wants, um, what he gets for it. Um, what, what it's worth for two different things or what he's asking and what it's worth for two different things so I can't say all I know is that so that puts me in question should I open this you know if it's worth 120 quid sealed should I open it I don't know but no I'm gonna open it right I'm not a speculator I don't buy these things to to hold on to because there may be some worth to them later on down the line I don't believe that's a way of collecting um, I know that it's still sealed and my stuff is sealed but I am gonna open it here and now to take a look at so Let's get this nasty plastic off. Well, it ain't nasty, is it? It protects it initially. Let's get the plastic off. Um, so, there we go. So, um, I can see that it is glued. can see the glue coming through. I don't like glued um, J cards. I, you know, I wish that inside they'd just put the J card loose, to be honest. Um, but there we go. So, we got that off and back. Now, this is my first time seeing the steelbook unwrapped, so I don't know what's on the back. But there's the front. Um, that's a lovely picture. I do like, I like that. Um, it's got like a, 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 you know, it's got a metallic finish to the actual face of Spawn. Um, with the green eyes. The title was just in standard sort of matte finish, but there's a shine to that. Um, I always like the look of the Spawn in the, in the film, um, I've always loved the um, the look of the character. Um, so anyway, so that's the front of the steel book. Now we'll take a look at the reverse. Oh no, we'll take a look at the spine. There's your spine, if you can see that. Um, with a title, Warner Brothers, Blu-ray. So the back. Okay, here we go. Nice image on the back. Again, sort of a metallic shine to it. Um, spawn with his cloak. Yes, so. And have a look on the inside. Oh, that is a shame. That's unfortunate. You know, there's the disc, just a black disc. I'm not even going to bother taking it out for you. There's no point, there's no artwork to show here. That's a very missed opportunity. A bit unfortunate. But let's shut that up because there's nothing to look at. <laughs> so, anyway, so there's the, um, yeah, so there's the steel book cover. There's the steel book back. Um, while I'm here, should I do a comparison of the Miami Ray case? Why not? Um, that's the disc on the inside. It's got one of them. But there's the cover to the Amma Ray. Um, again, I do like that cover. Um, and there's the back. Um, now, Spawn was 
It's a heavily CGI'd film. It is very dated now. Um, some of the effects in it are, oh, I mean, visual effects were at their infancy then, weren't they? they? They were young and there was advancements all the time, year after year. So very quickly, um, visual effects look started to look out of date and that has impacted on this film. And towards the end of the film with the devil in hell, there are some terrible, terrible effects. Even back then, the effects were terrible. It looked like they'd run out of budget or they'd rushed it. I don't know. It didn't look very good at all. But, um, you know, they, they decided to CGI his cloak, which kind of made sense because of how it is portrayed in the comics and how it's drawn. Um, the, the look of him, though, like I've just said, the look of Spawn himself and his outfit, I loved. I love. There's, you know, this film isn't for everyone. Um, I come from a, you know, having read the comics um, back in the early nineties for probably for about ten years. I've read Spawn comics before I went off of them, um, and yeah. So the film for me, I can watch it. I can enjoy it. I can have fun with it. But I know it's not a great film. Um, I know there's a good film in there trying to get out, and we do need a reboot. We need. Um, a decent spawn another spawn film made today um and done properly um but Todd McFarlane seems like he wants to have too much control over the character um I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad film a big bad thing um I think he's expressed interest in wanting to direct it himself I, I don't like that idea whatsoever um but yeah so anyway so this was my opening for spawn the German steelbook release um I do like the steel book. It's very nice. I love the image. Um, disappointed about the interior. But there you go. Can't have it all. So, this is AJ. I'm getting going for another day. And I shall see you lovely people later. Thank you for watching. Take care all. Bye-bye.